Alright, this is the triple threat caddis. My rendition of it. Size 12 scud hook or merger hook. Curve shank hook. This can be fished as a dry, or you can just whack the thorax with some grease. Florida is a merger. Or swing like a wet, dead drift like a nymph. It's a cool little pattern. <clears throat> Alright, I'm using A dot unithread and olive. But it's such a buggy, buggy fly that I don't think the, the thread really matters that much. Start about two eye lengths back from the eye. I like to tie in my my partridge for the legs first just to get it out of the way and you can use the gray partridge, you can use brown partridge, you can use other soft hackles I don't think the fish really care it's all up to you, whatever you want to use I like the brown so just tie that baby in there Couple soft wraps first, don't tighten down too tight, you'll break the stem. Snip that crap away there. <clears throat> then I like to rib with this black this black wire. I think it gives a more pronounced ribbing. It's ultra wire, small black. But any ribbon can do. I mean, a lot of people use oval tinsel. Tie that in on the side, bring her down. Deep in the bend there. And then the dubbing I use is just all trimmed off of a hair's mask to get like a specific blend. I have like your regular hair's ear blend. And then I have a darker hair's ear blend, but it's all hair's mask. Some of the smaller furs that I can't use for different things, I just trim up and throw them in a blender. Mix them all up, get a cool dubbing blend. But I gotta use wax because I'm not good at just putting the dubbing on the thread. So I just wax a little bit of it up there. Throw some dubbing on. Paper body. Up it there. That should be pretty good. Something like that. Just start dubbing your body up. See how buggy and spiky it looks. It's awesome. Right there. Now what I like to do is I like to rib it right away. Counter rib it. Tie your ribbing off. I'd probably go a little overkill with the wraps, but I like to make sure my ribbing stays on. Helicopter that shit off. Now, I like to put another little patch of dubbing on, but I like to use the darker dubbing. Kind of like the start of my thorax. Not a lot, just a little bit to kind of transition into where your legs are, and then where your other thorax is going to be, which is going to be the same dark, dark, darker um, dubbing than what you, you did your abdomen with your body. <clears throat> so just a wee bit there. Zip that on. Like so. Oh, it's looking buggy. Clip your hackle pliers on. One, two, three, 
three. And then cut through those. That'll help secure your part or yeah, your partridge down a little bit better than you would just tie off on one one spot. I'm gonna try to break it off. There we go. That usually doesn't work. Then pull these back. Get them out of your way. When you put your thorax on. It's gonna mash them back already, so I just like to take a couple like jam wraps right there to get them to kind of splay back for you, just so they're out of the way. You don't trap any of them partridge fibers down. All right, <clears throat> some guys use a dubbing loop. Some guys use a dubbing brush. I like to split the thread, but with eight aught, I'm sure twelve aught. It's probably a lot harder, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Maybe spin your thread to flatten it out. <laughs> I'm listening to Duck Dynasty in the back. section but that'll do it. Want that same dark hairs here blend. You want to get that section and lay it all in there so there's no gaps whenever you wrap it on. Close your thread, hold it there, and then spin your bobbin. Zip it up pretty good. And you'll see, after you spin it a couple times, you let go and it'll, boom, spin up like that. You get these fuzzy hairs flying everywhere. You have to probably use another spin. Sure you don't get any partridge fibers. Start making wraps, pulling your dubbing fibers back as you go so you don't trap any. Keep pulling them back, working your way up to the eye. You make a mess with this kind of dubbing, but who cares? It's worth it. Don't worry, it looks like a mess right now, but it'll look good in a fish's mouth. Right. Zip a little whip finish on. Trim your thread. I like to kind of like preen it back. If you can see, like a caddis peeper coming out. Oh, it's got that darker thorax. It's got the nice ribbing on it. And little things, I don't even know what they're called, but the little things that shoot out. There you go. That's that right there. Nice and buggy if you're into that buggy fly look, which I am. I love it. There you go. Go catch some fish with it.